Hey guys, this is Odd1 Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are on the main account today and we're going to do something massive. Uh, for those of you that have followed along and maybe seen me mention while I'm on my, you know, main account, I've gathered quite a few soul stones, you know, fully free to play. I've barely done any of the iron twins honestly because you know i don't like the value that i get out of the energy that i use for iron twins so i only do it on sundays and you know i just get myself the rewards from doing hydra which i can beat you know all the top uh difficulty ones i do nightmare brutal and hard and i get top chest there as uh you know just a simple example this is a little bit you know this might be a little bit of a spoiler but you know i'm not sure if this video comes out first or or the hydron but you know i do the top chest here which is 36 i do the top chest here as well which is what 29.4 and obviously on the hard one as well so that's where i gather myself the soul stones and honestly i've uh I was I just kept saving, kept saying, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pull them on one time. But with Live Arena coming out, this is like, you know, the right time to, <laughs> it's the right time to pull them. Also, you know, by the time this video is out, I, I will be in the UK, I will be busy. So this was kind of always prepared to be like a backup video. So <clears throat> we're going to pull in there. And honestly, if I look at my wish list, I have no idea why I have these guys on the wish list. Like what's happening here? Jesus. Why am I having these? Maybe I had them because of a previous clan boss team. But obviously, for this one, I want to have my most used champions. So for live arena specifically, because kind of some of those are good in arena as well. So my most one, used one is Rotos. Then it's a Duchess. And then honestly, I think it's Mighty Uko. So I'm, deb I'm debating if I should put Mighty Uko or if I should put a Safi. Hmm... Let's just go with Uko. These three are like, you know, Duchess and Uko, I almost always pick them first. I use them in my 3v3, in my plat defense, so they are at the top. Honestly, when it comes to the epic ones, I'm not really sure who I need, because there's very few epics that, you know, it's I'm transitioning more and more into using more legendaries for every area of the game. So, you know what, maybe I'm going to use an Inquisitor Shamel in here, because Shamel can actually be good for Arena, you know, he's good anti Taras, so... Shammy might actually be a good idea, and obviously having a stronger Seer is always going to be better. Anything else that would help in here? I'm not really sure. I don't know, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to leave it. You know what, let me just throw in... Uh, I might do some stuff with Dark Ale. Or, I, think, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Let me just get the Ugo. Ugo's there because, you know, Hydra and it is what it is. And with, with Rares, it's always Cold Heart and Soulbound. Anyway. The chances are not that crazy to actually get those ones, but you know, it, it's always worth a shot. Let me see, can I not just sell two more of these ones over here? I guess I'm keeping them because they're legendaries I might need. I'm debating, honestly, always thinking, do I really want one star ones? Maybe like two, three stars or above for legendaries. I don't know, let's, let's keep legendaries for now. <coughs> okay, wish me luck, guys. Let's see, what can I get from 358 mortal soul stones? Five immortal soul stones and one eternal one. Obviously, this is gonna be at the end. I might get another one from another cheeky one from here. We're gonna see because I think there's nothing else I can buy with the, actually I can buy the eternal soul essence. So I might not get it. Anyway, enough talking. Jesus, it's been three minutes already. I didn't pull anything. Anyway, wish me luck. Let's see. I wanna see those legendaries. I wanna see those stuff for arena, you know. Either for arena or for hydra. I wanna see, you know, five star legendaries. I don't want to see one star gorgors i want to see four five star six star legendaries hopefully or even if six star for some good epics i would not mind that's that's kind of the goal the weird thing with soul stones is you can get you can never get something good okay back to back legendaries one star sissia one star warself i don't think i have a sissia not the legendary okay three star lissandra that would be nice for my free to play i don't have lissandra on my main account got a one star soulbound mm, not too crazy I think I, I think I need to use that on my sis, yeah, because I don't think I have any on my sis. Yeah, I have two anyway, so, <clears throat> you know. I was saying, the, the weird thing with soul stones is the chances of you actually getting what you want are pretty slim, especially because you want high level, you know, you want high star awakening, and you want it for the right champion, and you want it to be legendary or epic if possible, and, you know, Lots of times you'll get the five and six star stuff, but for something that you don't have. Like, you know, one star Genzen, don't have him. <laughs> you know, even though I'm endgame, I have tons of champions. There's still tons of legendaries that I do not have, as I'm not buying shards. You know, haven't been buying shards for like over a year now, if not more. So <clears throat> I don't plan on, on doing that again. 
But I feel like one of the things that I will be doing, you know, if I have some champions like Claude, like Deacon, like, you know, I'm just going to put those blessings on them and just sell every other thing. Anything good? Cardial. Again, another one. I don't have a Cardial. But I feel like I'm going to start using, because I have so many now, I'm just going to start putting, if I have the champion belt, mostly I'm talking mostly about epics. Like some rares, unless there's somebody that I know I'm going to use for secret runes, I'm not going to use them. I'm straight up going to sell them. But if there's epics that, you know, like a Claude, like somebody else that could be used in the future i'm just gonna click uh click and you know use the the blessings on them and awaken them one star alexander even this one if i have a send, i'm gonna use it three star cantra okay this one's mocking me i've been saying that i really want a cantra on my account and look at this i'm getting the awakening i'm getting the soul for her but not the champion i know the cantra was a champion that was you know uh, a fusion a while back three star lanikis okay this, this is good. If I'm ever going to get the Chris can do the War Record team, this could be nice. Warlam, again, I don't have him. But yeah, Cantra, the reason why I want Cantra, for those of you wondering, she's amazing for Hydra. I would really love to have her for my for my uh, Brutal team. Because, you know, I, I rebuilt my Nightmare team. Again, I'm not sure if the video already came out or if it's going to come out. I think it's going to come out after this. I did a really amazing... Uh, look at this five-star one. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I really did, did an amazing... Uh, Nightmare team where I use all of my best, so my, my Brutal one is a little bit of a problem. Cantra would definitely help. Faceless, I mean, he's a, he's pretty interesting for Faction Wars, but I'm not sure I would ever build a Faceless for, you know, maybe for Live Arena. Maybe that could be something interesting, but I think what would make me build somebody like, you know, a niche epic for Live Arena would be getting a 5 or 6 star uh, blessing for them. If I got a 5 star, 6 star Awakening for them, I would do that. 1 star Nari the Lucky. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm getting the legendary, you know, I'm getting the legendary rates. But I want for the ones that I have, you know, <laughs> I want more for the ones that I have. And I prefer to get the useful ones, you know, I want to see on the right legend. I want to see a wish list. like I pulled so many, I haven't seen a legendary wish list yet. Okay, four star in it, we, you know, what's funny, I actually, <clears throat> I actually recently pulled in it, I think it was my last void legendary. And... I actually farmed his masteries during the CVC and 6 star them. I haven't booked him yet, but I, I guess that was a sign. Me just farming masteries for him was a sign. He might be interesting for live arena. I might, you know, might build him as one of my nukers. Two star Crypt King Grawl. Okay, can we see? Can we see some of the, what's it called? Wishless legendaries. Okay, another two star Cold Heart. Okay, I think it's, it's time to make some space and then I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna, you know, keep you through watching all of this. It's gonna be a long video anyway, so I'm gonna make the space and we're gonna uh, come back. So, see you in a bit. Okay, made some space now. Now we're going back. Like I said, I did awaken quite a few of them. And, you know, there's still some more that I need to awaken, but I need to ascend the champion. But yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. Hit me with the wish list. You know, I wanna see one of those. Uh, I wanna see one of those wish Let me do a quick fire one. Come on. Okay, legendary Ruark. Not the right one. Let's hit another quick one. Let's hit another quick one. Yeah, it seems like not not the luckiest. Okay, four star skull crown. That could be interesting. Skull crown still pretty decent for some faction wars, secret rooms. You know, um, I'm still gonna. I mean, I'm not using any faction wars actually. <laughs> not using any faction wars because I have all the OP legendaries. Okay, I got the one star. Okay, back to back wish list. Okay, can I see the back to back wish list for legendaries? Come on. Come on, let's let's get some luck. 358 mortal soul stones. Can we get some some legendary luck? I want to see some of the legendaries from the wish list. Okay, four star flashmonger. I do use him in what in, in my Doom Tower secret rooms, the hard ones. You know, in the rare attack ones, in the magic attack ones. He's in a stun set that I'm using him for, alongside some other people. Come on, wish list. Again, another one that I don't have. I do not have a Sethalia. Another two star cold heart. Okay, I think I already have my. I have four cold hearts. So I think my cold hearts already have two stars. If not, I'm gonna use <laughs> this on the next one. Another retainer round that I got earlier. Don't really care about him. Come on. I wanna see something nice. Like, you know, can I get. Can I get for 358 something crazy? Two star more to Macabre. I think I already have that. I think I already have a two or a three star on my more two. Can I see some 358, like a four or five star for my legendary at least, you know? Not trying to be too greedy to, see, to ask for a six star. Let's see, what are the odds? And Because at the end of the day, you know what? This kind of shows you how useless these are. It's, it kind of shows you how useless and how like close to zero value the soul stones have. Because you can get so many things... 
but not for the right champions. You know, you get all the crazy stuff, but if you don't get it for the champions that you own or that you want, it's useless. Or at the same time, you might be like, I'm doing like, you know, I've not seen any so far from like over 200 that I pulled. There's nothing that impressed me. Not gonna lie. There's absolutely nothing that impressed me. I cannot see anything that I'm like, oh my God, yes. I cannot believe I got that. So that's that's the sort of sad part about Mortal Soulstones. I remember a while back somebody mentioned that like uh, Mac Chan pulled a like 600 got nothing. Look at this, six star castigator. Who cares? Am I ever gonna build a six star castigator for what? I'm not sure. One star Yannicka, you know, maybe I'm just gonna use it because I have the champion, but I wanna see a six star. Come on, hit me with my first six star legendary. Can I get the six star for a legendary? My only six star that I had so far was something that, sorry, two of them. One that I sold and another one that was the seeker. It's the only things that I have to show, you know, how long has this been out? Almost a year? Almost a year that it has been out. I've pulled mortal soul stones, immortal ones, eternal ones, you know, I pulled tons of everything, but I did not get anything, you know, anything to write home about as they say so. Damn, that's crazy. Another two star cold heart. Okay. Uh, back to make some more space and we're going to come back to finish the rest of the ones. That should be enough for, you know, the space, hopefully. So see you in a bit again. Okay, we're back on the last stretch. So let's pull the first eight ones, then finish with some temples. This, these ones are just going to be quick fire because, you know, there's tons. There's tons. Come on. Can I get lucky towards the end? Can I get some good luck towards, you know, the end? Or if not, you know what? I would not mind paying tax with all of these ones, with all of the mortal ones, if I get something good at the end. If I get something good from the uh, eternal or the immortal soul stones, then I'm happy. Otherwise, I'm like, oh my god, really? What, what's the point? It kind of shows you, you know, why I'm like not really impressed or interested in the Iron Twins because it requires so much you know, so, so much energy to farm and it gives so little in return. And then after what it gives a return, you get the useless <laughs> rewards like this. So it's definitely, you know, it's definitely doesn't make me want to keep farming the Iron Twins. That's why I'm like, you know, not stressing, never talking, almost never talking about these ones, you know. Yeah, if you get lucky and get the blessings, they're amazing. But what are the odds? You know, what are the odds? Unless, unless it's something like, you know, okay, one star Gnishak, I guess I'm going to use it. Unless it's something you can guarantee for your champion, you know. I would make a guaranteed with this one, you know. Pull 150 soul stones and you're guaranteed to get... I don't Let's not go to 5 or 6 star. Give me... You're going to get... Oh! Okay! Okay! I'll take that! I'll take that! Even though she's not on my wish list, I will take a 6 star Arbiter. Damn! <laughs> well, that's... Uh, that's interesting. I'm definitely not going to be upset about that. I don't use my Arbiter for uh, Live Arena as much, but this might change it. This might change it. Getting a 6-star Awakening for her might change it. Well, that's something that, you know, I'm happy about. 350-something pulled to get one 6-star Legendary. What do you guys What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Was it worth it? Was it not? I'm definitely happy about that one. Can I get some more? Even if it's, it doesn't have to be a six star, even a four or five star, I'll be happy for some of the people on the wish list, you know. I'll take it, I'll take it. Damn, I did not expect that, I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping, but I did not expect, I wasn't expecting even to get a five star for a legendary. Especially a six star and somebody that I have, and somebody that's pretty useful, you know. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, Arbiter is not the top tier meta anymore, but it kind of comes, you know, she kind of comes back with certain teams. So yeah, that's that's awesome. That's a good that's a good start. Another one star Nishak. What's I guess that's a sign that I need to, you know, start using my Red King for something. I, I guess I'm gonna do that. Maybe if I get a hard awakening. Okay, three star for Seer. That's what I already have. So that does not help me. I need four star or, or above for Seer because three star already have, and I don't think there's any reason for me to build another one. Four star for Hellborn I might use because Hellborn's one of those. You know, uh, very few champions that can do buff extension. So she might come in uh, clan boss team showcase at one point, so that could help out. Let's see what's this. Three star resin. Okay, I guess resin's gonna have a blessing. He might get that brimstone for faction wars or some of those secret rooms. At the end of the day, you know what? The random soul stones that I get, the the random not soul stones, the random blessings, awakenings that I get for uh, 
I, keep, I never know how to call them, guys. Blessings, awakenings, whatever. But the random awakenings, I get the random champions. This is awesome as well. Vesex, Azurin, Hydra. These ones actually can help when, you know, when you do secret rooms. Because having that extra boost from the stats that you get from uh, Blessings can actually help you out. Plus, you know, getting yourself the phantom touches, the commanding presences, the, you know, all the good Blessings can make uh, lots of stuff in the game uh, easier. What's this? What's the back-to-back -back judge? What was that? Jesus. Come on. Come on. Let, can we get another bang? Can we get another legendary? Four star. I'm not being too greedy for a six star. I want to see a four star legendary of somebody that I have. And maybe from the wish list. Okay. One star in E3. I already got a four star. So I'm definitely, this one's definitely going to be sold. And that's it. That was it for the mortal ones. Damn. That was crazy. Still, the six star arbiter is insane. Now, the thing is, I don't usually... I don't buy these ones. I don't go for the RNG because as we've seen in 358 Mortal Soul Stones, I got one that's like, yes, I'm really happy about. Everything else is like, meh. So that's why I never buy Soul Stones. Like, you know, I could buy maybe after I pull some more, can buy Eternal ones, Immortal ones. I always keep them to buy the coins, you know, because look at this. I can buy 226 coins. So as an example, I'm getting close to the 300 required for my Rotos. You know, so that that's why I prefer to do that. And the same thing with... Uh, these ones, I'm just waiting to buy because at a certain point, I'm going to get to uh, where I will need Eternal Soul Essences. But now, let's finish with the bank. Come on, can I get something else good? Five Immortal Soul Stones and an Eternal one. Come on. Come on, Plarion, finish this with a good bank. Okay, start with an Epic. Three Star sc sti uh, Steel Skull. No. Legendary. Come on, Legendary is something I have. That's not Legendary. That's, uh, that's even a... B What's the Boltsmith? Bruh. Come on, come on, let's finish it with a bang. We, we had a good one there in Arbiter. Can we finish with a bang? Grave Chill again, never gonna use her. Three star rares, what am I gonna do with those? Another rare, another one, Gator four star. See, how useless are these immortal soul stones? How useless? I got three back to back, three star rare, like the worst that I could get. So it's like, that's, that's what I'm saying guys, it's not worth buying those. Why would I waste that when I could get just the guarantee value? And then I get the four star blood feather. See, that's why I never buy these. I never buy soul stones. The only ones that I buy are obviously the one that you get with the coins, with the mortal soul coin. Apart from that, never buy them. If I can get them from some milestones that doesn't require me to go too crazy, yes. But otherwise, not really worth it. Oh man, this is the eternal soul stone that we got when we had the clover path, I think it was. I think that's, that's what I got it from when I was saving it. Let's see. Let's see. Could I buy some more of these? No, I don't even have the coins for that one. So, you know, maybe if I sell some more stuff. Anyway. Come on, Playroom. Let's end this with a bang. Give me something useful, you know. I'm always trying to be, you know, a little bit humble if I can. So, I'm giving me something useful. I'm not going to go like, give me six star legendary lotos. I would love that. But I'm trying to be humble. Come on. Come on. Make it be good, please. Okay, Epic, somebody good? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not sure I would ever use her. Like, she's an interesting one, but really? Five star Luria. I, I, I mean, I might use her because I got the freaking blessings. I might have to build a five star Luria, but still. So the, the conclusion is like this, guys. From, what's it? 358 Mortal Soul Stones. Five, six Immortal Soul Stones and one Eternal one. I got myself a 6-star Legendary Arbiter, 4-star Initial Blood Twin, and what else? What else I can show in here? Nothing to, nothing else! <laughs> Absolutely nothing else, but I guess, you know what, I'll take it for now, 6-star Legendary Arbiter. I just need to decide, where do I use it on? Do I use it, do I use it on the one that already has a 2-star, or do I use it on my second one? And then just to rebuild my second one to be my main one. I think it would be a waste to use on the two star. Because at the end of the day, I think I have masteries on both of them. Yep, full masteries on this one. Let me get my other Arbiter just to double check. Because, you know, it would be a waste. Yeah, so I have full masteries on this one. I have full masteries on this one. They're both fully booked. So instead of wasting a two star awakening from this one. I'm going to still keep that to have that second. Even though I never used two Arbiters. But still, I could just swap the gears around. I'm going to have a 2-star Awakened Arbiter, and then I can have the 6-star Awakened one. I'm, I'm going to take it. I'll take it. 
boom there we go six star awakened arbiter that's gonna be fun that's gonna be awesome at the end of the day you know what i didn't expect too much so i'm happy that i got something good and you know it's it's hopefully more luck in the uh in the future for this one but yeah this is gonna be it for the video today guys i hope you enjoyed this this video it was it took me like four or five months to collect all of those soul stones but it i guess it was worth it in the end you know i'm a bit pos i will be positive it was worth it i got myself a six star void legendary awakening and that's you know not something you get every day but yeah Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy, do enjoy my content. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care everyone. Bye, guys.